Something a bit different then now as we pull over to America for the final three jump races of the week. This is the New York Turf Chase. And it's got a thankfully smaller field than usual. These are pretty tight, these tracks. The last few years they had really big fields. Fon Mort at the top for David Hooney. Il Duomo for Darren Thompson. Merza and Nubis for Graham Clutterbuck. Signpost Craig Beckwith. The mighty Joshua Sutherland. Gypsy Kelly, Matt Cooper. Last two Ra, Leon Van Rensburg and Sapphire and Steel Martin Little. Most of these are returning from last season and were good quality performers. So if you've got a newcomer in this and you finish anywhere near them, you've probably done quite well. So away we go. And they went towards the first of the fences. And confusing over here. Here in America sometimes the fences look like hurdles sometimes. The hurdles look like fences, but these ones are fences and look like fences. And it's the last two rock who was in the lead and has been overtaken by Merza and Nubis. So Merza and Nubis has gone on and has quickly gone two or three clear. Oh, Il Duomo and last and rather in Fon Morton, Gypsy Kelly, the one widest on the track is Sapphire and Steel and the maroon with a yellow cap. Well it's Merza and Nubis and the Welsh flag silks of Graham Clutterbuck in the lid. A good four lengths clear getting over the second. No mistake towards the back by Gypsy Kelly. And it's Merzer and Nubis who continues to lead Fon Mortis in second. And he'll blow my third as they get over the third. We'll safely over that one. That's the winning post then. I think they've still got to go around twice. Pretty tight these tracks in America. 14 furlongs still to go. I can't imagine there's a race course in America that's 14 furlongs around. And it's Merzer and Nubis who's in the lead by about four or five lengths to Fonmort in second then the last hurrah and the mighty with Il Duomo on the rail Sapphire and Steel and Signpost both were in a little bit wide and Gypsy Kelly finding it a bit hot but not too surprised about that to be honest as these are mostly seasoned campaigners for the last couple of seasons and Gypsy Kelly's a newcomer so that one will definitely find its race at some point and it's Mirza Anubis in the lead over the fifth. Walk safely over that. If Merza and Anubis clear. The mighty on the inside of Fonmort. They've been stalked by the last hurrah. And then signpost in Duomo and Sapphire and still in a gap of about ten lengths then to the back marker Gypsy Kelly. Hopefully the handicapper will be coined too. Running a group two, or whatever this is, it's Merza and Anubis who's in the lead. The mighty in second, Fon Mort in third. Last two run on the signpost, Il Duomo, Sapphire and Steel as they get over the sixth. And you can see they've very quickly got back up the home straight, haven't they? Almost like jumping at Chester, this, as they get over number seven. And they're also feel that Gypsy Kelly's gone at the back. It's suggested it's unseated its rider at the top there, so that was out of. Out of shot. But it's still Merza and Nubis who's got the lead. To Il Duomo in second, Fonmore in third, the mighty in fourth, and then signpost. And then the last two are and finally Sapphire and Steel. It's probably the only one you'd rule out of it at the moment. As they come into the eighth, the leader made a bad mistake. There and has now almost surrendered the lead and as soon as I wrote off. Sapphire and Steel, she started to pick up the bit and start running again. So they race down towards the next, and Merza and Nubis has regained the lead over the third last. Merza and Nubis then in front. Here comes Signpost around the outside. I'm pretty sure that ran some really big races last season, but it's Merza and Nubis in front. Signpost is in second. Then comes Il Duomo and Fonmore. Then the mighty Sapphire and Steel still there, coming around the outside. Last hurrah is now last, but it's Merza and Nubis with two to jump and only two and a half furlongs to go. Merza and Nubis then from Signpost in second. The mighty is in third. Then comes Sapphire and Steel and the last two rounds. Oh, there's, there's another jockey on the floor there from Gypsy Kelly. And that's totally thrown me there. The jockey from the previous fall still on the ground. And it's Signpost now being challenged by the Mighty. Signpost in the lead. The Mighty's come through to take second. Il Duomo is a faller at the back. But it's the Signpost who's in front holding on from the Mighty. Over the final fence they go. It's Signpost in front. The Mighty is trying to close. But Signpost takes it. The Mighty is second. Last two rounds. Fon Mort, Sapphire and Steel, Merza and Nubis. And as Matt Cooper's jockey still lay 
prone on the ground as the horses thunder past him and near the health and safety men. A solemn post takes it and good win for Craig Beck with that one. Like I say, I'm pretty sure that was a decent horse last year as you can see rated 155. It must have been so. Simon Bosa Craig Beck with the winner. The mighty for Joshua Sutherland second. Last hurrah, Leon Van Rensburg third. Fonmort for David Hoody was fourth. And Sapphire and Steel was fifth.